Hey guys, it's Sheepish Marie, and today we're opening up a Zora GX box. Sorry about that pause. I was afraid there was going to be nine tails. Nine tails? What are you doing here? Seriously. You were here last time I tried to open this. Nine tails. <sighs> You're seriously here just to wish me good luck? Nine tails. Yeah, I know that's what friends do, but not now. Not while I'm recording. Get out of here. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Let's get into the opening. I'm actually pretty excited to open this, and hopefully if I ever open another one of these, there's not going to be nine tails all over it, but that, that, that would be nice. The Zorark GX promo in this is really good, and I'm excited to get it. And hopefully, maybe, we could pull another Zorark in this box. Because I actually need two for my deck, and when I opened the Elite Trainer box, <laughs> not on this channel, there, um, I only got two Entes, which is, I mean, okay, I guess. But I didn't get any Shinings, and I really would like a Shiny, and I just got a bunch of Entes. So, maybe we can get something that's not Entei. Or just, actually, I'd be fine with an Entei if, if, if it was compared to getting nothing. So let me get all the stuff out of here, and then I can start showing it. So, first of all, of course, you got your promo cards. You got Zora, which has got an amazing trade ability, and Zoro, which has is the same from the set. It's just a reprint. That's what these are. So it's just a reprint and a nice hollow foil pattern. So that's cool. Set that there, and this. This is the one I was really looking forward to. The Zorark, which I actually really like the look of. It's a full art card. Kind of like how the um, Sun and Moon starters were in their boxes. So it's not in the set. Put that in the sleeve because I'm going to be using this baby in my deck. I don't have any more other Zorarks. I don't feel like going out and buying some Zorarks for my deck. So hopefully we can just at least get one more in this box. Because I have Zoras. Zoras for days. I'm going to set those in the corner because they're not really the pulls. Oh, yeah. And they got the big jumbo card, which is beautiful. I really like the design of this box. I hope they do more boxes this design. And you got your big card, which is just the same thing. Just huge. And textured, which is super nice. And you got your five packs of Shining Legends. Hopefully we can get like a shiny Mew or Genesec along with our Zora that we're hopefully going to pull. All these hopes. Your code card, which I am not going to reveal because I want that for my online thing. Sorry. I'll probably give away a Shining Legends code. And then there's a beautiful coin. I just think this is a really good deal box in general. So I might be getting another one. This beautiful, beautiful coin. So I think I'll just set that up in the corner back there. Yeah, did not want to cooperate right now. Okay, you know what? We're just going to leave it like that. And we got the important part. Five beautiful packs with some shinings that I re really want. Some beautiful shinings. And some other ones. So this should be fun. Hopefully, we'll get some good pulls. So let's just kind of mix these up. Save shiny you for last. Me two here. There we go. Actually, no. Let's do, let's do it like this. This feels good. How about like that? That looks good. Okay. Let's get in to the pack opening. I'm just going to set those there so you can see them, but kind of on the side. First pack of Shining Legends. If you didn't know, in Shining Legends, it's always a white code because you're always guaranteed a hollow, which is pretty cool. But it did bring down the average price of bulk hollows, which is not good. But yeah, what do we care? It's not going to sell them bulk hollows anyway. So, whatever. The Venusaur in this set is also pretty good. So, there's your white code like I was talking about. How about we um, not give away this one in case I accidentally give away another one. And if I don't accidentally give any away, I'll definitely give one the last one away. So, wait. Yeah, four. And two. Okay. We got Purloin. Larvesta. Litten, Shroomish, Quillfish, Energy, Lily, Pokemon Breeder, Arbok, 
reverse mine them and uh hollow it's just a hollow verzine i didn't really know what to say i was gonna say regular rare and then i stumbled and i'm like wait that's not a regular rare but it kind of is because this set is hollows so i'm not gonna put them in the background because like i said all the packs have hollows in them apparently randomly it seems i have a little bit of glitter in my hand i don't oh there's a little bit of glitter on my play mat from the uh big promo card i think is what that is so getting to pack number two here come on you two do us good trying to get just get that off there and there's another white code card and four and wait yeah that's four and two to the front larvesta Litten, make sure I'm doing this right. Breloom, Voltorb, Golet, Fire Energy, DCE, that's pretty nice. A Scrafty, Energy Retrieval, Reverse Golurk, which is pretty cool. That is just an uncommon. And a Zekron Hollow Rare. Challenge back number three. Come on, let's get something good in this. We are not getting the best pulls. I never had good luck with Shining Legends. Everybody said Shining Legends was the very best. No one ever was. Okay, no, I'm gonna stop. But I never got anything great besides some Entes, which aren't very playable and aren't very expensive. They aren't very awesome. One, two, three, four. Four and two. Okay. And Larvesta, Litten, Croconaw, Golet, Bulbasaur. That is a really adorable card. If you didn't know, Bulbasaur is my third favorite Pokemon. Energy, Super Scoop Up, Arbok, Warp Energy, Reverse Kelio, which is actually a hollow in this set, so that's not bad. And. A Palkia Hollow. Come on, if we're gonna give us hollows, give us flippity flap shamans. Maybe it's bad luck because I'm not giving you any codes. I swear though, I don't get anything good in this pack in these packs. Okay, I'll give you this code just because I feel like it's bad luck to not give you guys codes. Maybe maybe that's it. All my fans. Okay, no, I, I have 16 subscribers. I, I don't have very any fan. Nobody nobody is like. I'm Sheepish Reap's biggest fan. Okay, we're gonna give you this for good luck. Take that and give me good luck with it. One, two, three, and four. Four and two. Come on. Give us something good. Bulbasaur. Stunfisk. Quillfish. Shroomish. Scraggy. Metal Energy. Kind of blanked out there for a second. Floatzel, Golurk, Pokemon Catcher, Reverse Zora. That's pretty cool. I can do that if I'm making a Zorark deck. Give us the Zorark now. Oh, that is nice. A Shining Arceus. Oh, that is beautiful. Finally, I got a Shining and a Ball. And it's an Arceus. And Arceus is awesome. I went to this pre-release in this one kid out of just the normal Zorark thing, not the big... GX one, the hollow one that comes with the pin and stuff. Three packs. We got a Shining Arceus and a Zorark GX out of three packs. And I was jelly because I I, I want that. But come on, Mew. Give us the um, goods. Give us the Shining Mews or the Rainbow Rare Zoroarks or the Test Tube Mewtwo's. Give us those and give us an error pack that comes with all of those in the same pack. You know, we're going to give this code away for good luck, because I am feeling generous today, and I am feeling like I need good luck. So, boom. There you go. Another code. Whoop. Out of here. One, two, three, four, and two. Come on, last pack magic. <laughs> That's funny when people say that. Mina. Purloin. Larvesta. Litten. 
Shroomish, running through the forest. Darkness energy. How do you do? Vol Corona. Fur alligator. Bulbasaur reverse, which is adorable. And. Elevato, not Halloween. Or, yes, hollow, but. That was not a very good box, let's be honest here. I did not do so hot. I, I wanted many great things. But, eh, I'm just kind of, you know, smash all my cards together here while I'm chatting. This is. If you're wondering what a stack of cards look like after you open it, it's like this. Whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go with through my polls. Um. Mm. I'm going to fish the hollows out just because I didn't really get anything that great to show. So, it's something to show at the end. Um, here, sorry. I'm just looking through the cards. There's the Palkia. There's the Keldeo. Reverse. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I'm not too great at making videos. People don't really watch my videos. But hey, what do I care? I'm just doing this for fun, boys. So. Let's go through all my awesome pulls. Not really awesome pulls, to be honest, but they're pulls nonetheless. So I'm just going to put the pulls that I like that aren't even that awesome in because we're going to count these all as pulls, my friends, because that's how awesome we did. We got so many pulls. I think I should do this. No, I'm not going to do that. I was going to say I should do this video completely clip bait and say, like, I got five pulls out of five packs, yo. Counting the hollows as pulls. That'd be really evil. Okay, so we got a Zorark hollow, reverse hollow. Bulbasaur, reverse hollow, because I like Bulbasaur. Keldeo, which is a reverse, which is a hollow. We got a Palkia hollow, a Zekram hollow, a Verizian hollow, and a Levelto hollow. A Shining Arceus, which is the only good pull that we got. A hollow Zora, which is the same as this one. So I'm probably going to be putting these in my deck for my. Zorark, and of course the Zorark full art. So, that's the end of this video. The random cards at the end. And a uh, nine tails. But, i see you guys, see you guys next time. This is Sheba Sharip, and goodbye!